I'm saying, you know, you all seem to think that you all are better than like, like you all always say like, hey, Singapore chicken rice better than Malaysian chicken rice. I'm gonna take your chicken rice and shove it up your ass, right? <laughs> yeah. Singapore bakute better than Malaysian bakute. Hello, your bakute is white, ah? Huh? It's so white, it's trying to get a local wife. Is there any white people here make some noise? Is there, is there, is there white people? I can't see you because the light. <laughs> Which is weird, right? I always see the white people like glow in the dark. <laughs> no, but the thing is, the thing is, you all say like, hey, hey, Singapore government better than Malaysia government. Okay, lah, okay, we can't argue about everything, but at least we got Bakute, all right? Uh, the last time I came here, the last time I came here, I lost my passport, right? And it, it, it's always weird to lose your passport in a foreign country because you have to make a police report, right? And you have to walk into a police station. I walked into a Singapore police station. Right? I got the shock of my life. Huh? Bloody hell. Your, first of all, your policemen, all Malay. But that's not the shocking part. They were doing work. <laughs> hey, can you all teach us how to do that? Huh? Because we, we really need some help in that department. No, I'm just, uh, you know, not, not only that, not only that. Right? I walked up to a policeman. He, he looked at me and said, how can I help you? Fucker spoke English! <laughs> Hello, hi, hi, welcome. Can I get you anything like a watch or... Good timing. <laughs> where, where are you all from, sorry? Italy. Italy. Did you come here directly from Italy or? <laughs> uh, you know, but the thing, as I say, they spoke English, ah, right? <laughs> right? And then he looked at me, the policeman looked at me, I said, I lost my passport. He, he asked me, sir, where are you from? I said, I'm from Malaysia. He said, sir, can you prove it? So I gave him 50 ringgit and left. <laughs> After three years in Changi prison, here I am. Uh, <laughs> you all take this bribery quite seriously. Uh. No, but the thing is, I, look, Singaporeans, okay, we have to understand we have, and Malaysians as well, we do have an accent, right? Is, is the Singapore Malaysian accent very similar, right? We use the la, right? But more obscurely, we like to. <laughs> we can't say R. <laughs> Pluralize. No, uh, we like to pluralize. I can't say it. <laughs> See, th this is why, right? Okay. <laughs> we like to pluralize things for no reason. All right? Sometimes when you call a receptionist or something, house may I help you? <laughs> right? You, you've all heard that before, right? I was talking, I was talking to one of the comics backstage and I was asking him, what's your favorite anime? He looks at me and says, Dragon's Balls. <laughs> I'm like, no, that's a different genre. <laughs> no. Send me the link. Uh, but, <laughs> right, but it's weird. But sometimes it comes out in the wrong place. Like, you know, like a few months ago, we had uh, the earthquake in Sabah, right, which is a sad tragedy. And uh, as Singaporeans, as Malaysians, we like to donate, right? We, we, we help out when we can, right? So I wanted to donate some stuff. I walked up to a, to a booth collecting such donations, right? And what this lady behind the counter just looked at me, she said, sir, do you want to send AIDS to Sabah? <laughs> Wait, how are we sending AIDS to Sabah? She looked at me and said, don't worry sir, you give me the AIDS. I will personally send the AIDS for you. To Sabah. Make some noise. Alright, two of you all. Alright, great. <laughs> Right, I lived in England for five years, right? I lived in England for five years. And I was 17 years old when I moved to England, right? And honestly, I thought I was prepared, right? I, 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 I spoke English my whole life. I thought I was prepared. <laughs> I did really well in exams. I thought I was prepared. My mother was an English teacher. I thought I was prepared. And I landed in Newcastle Airport. <laughs> Is there someone from Newcastle here? 
good. Fuck him. Right? <laughs> I landed, nobody fucking spoke English. They spoke a bastardization of the language, which you could not understand. It's like, it, it, it's like they spoke a different, like I understood. I understood that they use words differently from us. I understood, like when we say tired, they would say knackered. I understood that, right? I understood that when we say transvestite, they say girlfriend. <laughs> Translations, you know? I knew that, but I didn't know they told time differently from us. Right? I didn't know, like, you know, things like... I, I'm used to the Malaysian and Singaporean timing, like 8.30, 4.15. Easy, right? Minute, hour, minute, no bullshit. <laughs> I was 17 years old when I landed in Newcastle Airport. I was young. I was naive. I was virile. I walked up to someone and I said, do you have the time? He looked at me, he said, quarter past four. I looked at him, I said, Chibai. <laughs> Why you make me do maths? Is it because I'm Indian, a bastard? I didn't know, I didn't know it was a different... Sometimes they don't even tell you the hour. They just go, it is half past. <laughs> half past what? <laughs> Swear to God, I, I, I was there for five years, right? For the first three years, I didn't know what time it was. <laughs> the whole time, I just kept looking at the sun. I read books, I did some research, right? I, I eventually became a math genius, right? I learned how to do their system. Now when British people ask me the time, I fuck with them. <laughs> right? When British people ask me the time, I go, it is five past, <laughs> quarter two, <laughs> half past six. <laughs> and when they look at me all confused, I go, divide by eight! 